And the idea is really simple. We wanted to put on a conference that was open to everyone of any kind of hypnotic persuasion or even some kind of allied arts and invite the people we admire, our hypno heroes if you like, to come and speak, uh, share their ideas. Um, quite often the, the, the people we ask to speak here will challenge some of your existing ideas and you know that's very much the aim. We, we, we enjoy being challenged and kind of uh, taking on board new beliefs and letting go of old ones. In fact I'm kind of at that point where I, I've stopped believing anything anymore because it sort of precludes me believing the opposite. I'm not suggesting you go that far but what I want you to do today is kind of adopt an attitude of curiosity and keep your mind wide open, just as wide as you can without your brain falling out. Evidence-based practice accepts that all techniques do not work for all clients, okay? So we're not, like I said right at the beginning, we're not just dictating, you must do this, you must do that, but in fact, that you have the ability to look at both sides of a philosophy, both sides of an argument, and that you don't just dig your heels in and entrench yourself in dogma because that's how you were taught. There is when you lie on your left hand side, it brings it close to the chest wall, so you are more sensitive. Plus you're lying in bed, so that all the distractions that are usually there day to day are absent. So quite often the patient is lying there and notices this phenomena and becomes incredibly anxious the movements of leaves on a tree or a branch blowing in the wind. Um, when a human being makes a movement, it, it carries meaning. If you went to an NHS antenatal class, they don't teach breathing and relaxation. What's the one thing they do teach? Anybody know? Pain relief. So what's the presupposition there? Of course it is. Now, just keep that at the back of the mind, how repetition or highly emotional experiences. Not only, that is the interesting part, often the brain is likened to a computer, and the brain is the hardware, and the thoughts are the software. The interesting part is, the software is building the hardware.